Hey guys, what's going on? Tardbuck here. Today we're going to be playing some more Farming Simulator 2017 on the good old No Creek Farms map. And looks like the soybeans are ready to rock and roll. They're ready to be harvested. They're all dried up, shriveled up. They're all they're all good to go. So we're going to go ahead today. We'll be pulling out all the harvest equipment, getting it ready, and hopefully getting in the field. So we do have to buy the new combine. Now a lot of people wanted a 2388, 2588. A bunch of people want a John Deere case, class Lexion. Now I forgot to put it in the game. So that kind of sucks. Where's that at? I thought I put it in. Darn it. All right, well, let me go put that in real quick. Okay, so we got the 8820 in here. I'm going to be buying that instead of the... Let's see, do I have headers in here? I should. Uh, okay, good. See, I'm going to be getting this 30 foot. That's a big old header. And it's basically the same as the 65. It's in here. So, yeah, we're going to get that instead of the case or any other combine. We'll probably buy uh, 2588 later on. We'll just have to see. So, we're opening this door. Okay, it's open finally. We'll start up the 4955. Some people want a 4555, which I guess that's fine. I'm going to leave it at 49 for now. I could change it to a 55. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, I got Gearbox back, by the way. And for all you wondering, where's Gearbox? It's in the bottom corner where the fuel logo is. Uh oh. Popped into neutral. That was weird. Let me know if you like it up there, like in the actual HUD, or if you like it down below. I like it above because you can see all the RPM and stuff. A lot of people don't like it because it takes up the screen. So we'll park that there. We'll go ahead and reset the big combine just because it's faster to get it home um I did reset or get the uh, 4020 hold on where's the header at there it is we'll go ahead and reset that so now the 8820 turbo is here we got to swap out the heads on the gleaner. And let me know what we should put on the grain cart. What tractor should we do on the grain cart? There we go. Drive it out. Oh, boy. Yeah, let me know what we should put on the grain cart. Switch that around. There we go. We'll pull this out. We'll pick corn later when we got some help. There's supposed to be some people joining. We'll just put this in front of the hay bales here. Shouldn't need them for a while. We'll pull them out, pull this out in the grass patch. And then we'll go and hook up the 2588, get it going. They're both 30 foot heads, so that'll work out good with course play. So that's that's probably what I'll run with three combines or two or however many I run. We'll run soybeans first just because that's the easiest thing to do, I should say. But yeah, we'll jump in this combine. We'll shift it in second gear. Good startup sounds. Not terrible. There's GPS. The old 8820 turbo. Oh boy, we're spinning out. There we go. Some traction. Oh yeah, look at that. Alright, can we hook up? Is that feeder house offset? Oh no, it's not. Cool. Alright, so this is 30 foot. Or at least it's supposedly. It's got the Milo guards on there. That's funny. Wow. Or at least I think. Oh no, them are like. I don't know. I thought I thought they were Milo guards. Ooh, ooh, look at that roll coal. Oh dang. Crops are too wet. That's fine. We'll drop the header down. Um. Oh, the gleaner's running. That's what's running. Run over here. Crud, what am I... Okay, I need to get in the pickup. There we go. We'll go around and... Actually, let's get Jake. <coughs> Alright, so here's the 4020. Now, it, it can have a loader on it. I haven't put one on it. 
uh, the duals and the front tires are normal we still have our chopper wagon we got the little dozer there we go let's run over to the pickup actually let's tab into it maybe should get in this thing we'll drive it out there drive it out real quick oh boy I just jumped into 8th gear oh yeah it'll pull it oh maybe not took a while to shift Actually, we'll leave that tarp because we have to get out. Well, this truck has automatic tarps, I guess. We'll get out and tarp it, though. Just to be cool. Alright, so we will pull this out here like such. It'll probably be in our way, I'm sure. We should have manual tarps. I don't think we need it. Yeah, I took it out because people couldn't join. So I guess we're like that. We're going to get the header trailer. Should be able to get. There it is. We'll go ahead and hook onto the header, pull it out, and then let me know what you want to put on the grain cart, and I'll switch it. I think we'll put the, I don't know, I kind of want to do the 4640, or the 47, or what is that, I forgot already. 4760, I think that's what it is. But I kind of want to run it on the dry spitter too. All right, we'll pull this header out. 8,200 flex. There we go. This trailer is awesome. I like it a lot. We will let's see. We gotta drop it off that side. It does kind of float a little bit. That's all right. This pickup is kind of loud too. Swing around. We'll get hooked up here. That's about straight. Hook that on. Back up. There we go. Set it down. Shut the machine off. Pull the pickup out of the way. Pull it up here. We'll just circle around. Pull it up, up here with a reset point. We can mow grass again we need it we'll probably should start mowing hay this morning since the crops are wet all right what is this tractor pretty sure 4760 that's what I thought oh boy the hay disappeared all the hay's gone all the grass bales are gone but we should have them still in that bin still need to get some straw I did come up with a plan for straw. Let's see, we haven't used the 4440 much. We'll put duels on the 4440. There we go. Oh, we're in high gear, no wonder. Should be able to just put duels on it. There we go, a little two wheel drive. It's a little hoppy for some reason. Customize rear twins, eight hundred dollars. There we go. Let's see. I want to look at something here. Hit that button. Oh boy. Why won't that? Okay. I did have a button for this. I don't know. There's control. There we go. It's control. Alright, so I can just rev the engine wide open. Let it idle. Actually, I should be able to slow it down. We'll do nice cruise speed, about 1500. That'll be our drive speed. Hooking on to the grain cart. There we go. Shift gears. Can rev it up. Back it up in here. Oh, we already are switched. There we go. Shift it again. Alright, look at that. That thing's sweet. It almost matches. Not quite, but it almost does. So we'll just circle around. We'll probably go get the mower. Oh boy. I just ran into a bunch of crap. And then we'll probably hay, bale. We gotta plant soybeans back into this. Or no, not soybeans. The good old Hoyt. 
All right, let's get course play set up while we're sitting. Field work. Uh, wait, what? Oh, that's field work. Okay. Now we should be able to do this and click the field. We're in field four. Starting position, we'll click there. Hit OK. It shouldn't gen. Oh, it did. Crap. That's all right. It should save it. Uh, working 9.3. Position starting automatic deactivated headland. We'll do two. Actually, we'll do one. Because it'll do one with this combine, one with that, and that'll be 60 foot, 18 meters. Uh, multiple tools, we want two. Generate. Load here, we should be able to click this button to see it. Let me know, do you like, do you like these lines up or do you want them off? Or do you like this just up in the corner like that? And the lines off. Do you like it like this, where there's just the start and then this? I guess I could delete the start. Or do you like the lines and not this over here? Because I like to play like this. That way you can see where you're, where it's supposed to go. And if you need to see more, you can see the course. So we should finish there, and then we'll just roll on to the next field and get going. Let's see, I gotta shut that off, because that bugs me once in a while. Jump in the 65. Field work. Um, copy course. 8820. There we go. We're going to the right. That's where we want. We're going to follow it. That one's set to the left. Copy that. Should be set to drive. Yeah, we'll activate combine convoy. And I'll click here, activate. That way if this combine stops, that combine will stop when it reaches like 300 meters or whatever it's supposed to stop at. Okay, so that's all set up. We could set up course play for the tractor. I'm going to do that real quick, just for the fun of it. Have an all course play farm. Then we can stop vehicles and run it, and then I'll probably just run the grain cart. Um, let me know if you want to run more course play or like actual people. Should I get people on here or should I just run course play? Course play is kind of cool if you know how to set it up. So we're going to do empty combine offload to trailer. Circle around here. We'll probably record a course play to mow hay and we can run two mowers. I'm just going to set it up out in the middle here because that's about the easiest thing to do. Let's see, it'll most likely be coming in this way. Okay, we'll go start. We'll put our auger out to see where we can go here. It'll probably be about like right there. We'll set waypoint. I'm going to have to run over the soybeans for this. That'll be alright. I don't think we have crop destruction on. Actually, we might. Oh shoot, put it in the wrong gear. Come on, take off. There you go. Do I have crop destruction on? I don't want to run a bunch over. I don't think I do. Alright, I guess I shut it off. Alright. So I should be able to turn here. Stop recording. And then that should be set up to run the unload course. So we'll start him. Pathfinding activated. Warning, blah, blah, blah. All right, we'll shut him off here. Could set up truck course play. We'll probably just run it when it gets full. Okay, now let's jump in the mower here. Gotta pull all this stuff out. Should still have the grass in the, yep, we do. sounds though hold on that's really quiet let's go to sounds volume let's crank it up oh yeah 
Them are some good sounds. I didn't even hear the sounds, really. Well, that's not. I guess you I don't think you can power shift with these, so. The idle sound sounds sweet. Oh, yeah. This is going to be fun with the chopper boxes. All right, now let's take off. Oh, that's kind of lame. It just kind of putt putts. But the start sounds sweet. That starts cool. I like that. Alright, let's run over here. Yeah, we'll be chopping hay pretty soon, actually. The bunker is done. Uh, I guess we could do that. We'll untarp it. Go ahead and jump in the... Where's the old 863? There it is. I'm just gonna shut. Actually, we don't have to. So I guess it's just a hydrostat. Be pretty easy to control. Let's turn this back down a little bit here. Probably too much, but that'll be alright. Pull in here. Drop it off. The only thing is, you gotta hit the button to back up and turn. Actually, we should use this with the loader. Let's do that instead. We'll back this up by the door. Back it up in here. We'll shut it off. Although we haven't used this much. Oh yeah, I guess we did. We gotta reset that bucket. I bought a bucket. Where's it at? Right. Come on. There, no. This bucket right here. All right, let's get in the 4955. We'll fire it up and get to mixing some stuff. I should have put my grass hay in that. We'll be short. Well, no, we won't because we'll do all this grass. I'm going to get like a bale storage unit so that the grass bales don't delete. Then we can still do grass. I don't think they'll delete, delete in the storage. So that will be a plus. We'll leave this out here. Drop it off, shift into reverse. Back up, shift into forward. There we go. We'll hook on to the old bucket. Now this is a pretty good sized bucket. It's probably like a payloader bucket. There we go. I guess it doesn't look too big. It looked giant on the skid steer. So I did have a skid steer attachment for it. This bucket needs to be a little wider. It's alright. Speedometer works in this tractor. 780. Wow, that's a low idle. I think it's a little higher than that. Alright. Go scoop it up. Should hold a good amount. Back it up. Oh, I took my hit my wrong. There we go. Oh, I have a shift on that key. Darn. That's why I did that. Whoops, wrong button. Good old 1.6 tons in the old loader bucket. We'll go ahead and drive and dump this in silage. Because then all I need is hay. Oh boy. It's a little tippy tippy. Okay, good. It went in. For a second, I didn't think it was going in. It just takes a little longer with the gearbox when you're loading stuff like this. Kind of sucks. Still got to buy cows, too. We'll buy them pretty soon. Planning on getting a good amount. Oh, come on. Won't push the silage. There it goes. There we go. Back up. It's a pretty good sized silage pile. About 30 tons. Ain't terrible. Come on, back up. There it goes. Might just back all the way out of here, depending on how fast we back up. Because by the time you switch, it takes forever. Circle around. Back up in here. Swing the front round. 
Just doing all kinds of stuff today. It looks like the crop uh, stuff went away, so that's good. We'll do that next instead of haying. We can hay in a different video. That way, a lot of people don't like it when I do like a whole bunch of stuff. So I think that's probably good. I can top it off later if I need to. Let's leave everything scattered out. Told you at harvest everything would be scattered out. Alright, we're gonna jump in the uh, jump in the 8820. We'll run it around a little bit. And then yeah, I probably won't time lapse this video, it'll be in the next one, I'm sure. There we go, everything's kicking on, rolling coal. Going good. Three mile an hour four. I'm curious to see how fast this header is supposed to go. Six mile an hour? Alright. It'll probably only go four because there's a good sized load on it. Or two. This is actually what you're supposed to cut, so I mean that. Especially in the morning, about nine o'clock. Auto header height, nope. That kind of sucks. That's all right. I'm just cutting it off right on the top. We'll shift down a gear, maybe. Oh yeah, we gotta stop. Forgot. Five mile an hour. That's better than two. Or we'll probably just do this. That's probably what I'll do for combines because they just drive so slow. Eighty bushel the acre. Hundred. Ooh. Hundred and three bushel the acre. All right. Oh boy, it's on the wrong side. Forgot to switch it. There we go, left. Drive. And... There she goes. All right, see it coming out the back. We'll run in the old gleaner here. We'll jump in it, get it rolling. We'll probably, I'll probably just time off this field and then tomorrow I'll move everything over to that field. Or not tomorrow. I don't know, whenever I post next. Fire this up. Lift the header. Get it rolling. The sounds on this thing are sweet. They're a little, they're a little delayed. There we go. We'll kick it on. Kicks the machine on. And then it... Yeah, and then it kicks the... The rest of the machine on. So we'll do that again. Oh yeah, now's when you run. They are a little delayed on there. But they usually are. This seems like a way bigger header than the other one. I don't know why. Let's see, we gotta go... We'll drive course on the corner. So yeah, cutting soybeans in the 65. Five mile an hour, drive course. Get out and watch it. Jump on the 4440. We'll see how this will, uh, if we can drive course or not. Okay, so basically it stops there. Or it's supposed to stop, let's see. Automatic search, we could do Search combine and field. Crap, what field's this? Four. Oh, 41%? Alright, this is him driving out. That's fine, he can drive the border. Search combine and field. Three. Or no, crap, we're in four. Search combine and four. Okay, so it's gonna drive behind the combine. Show you guys, in fact. I'm gonna do something a little cool here. I'll be right back real quick. Alright, so I'm back. So in the top corner you can see the percentages of everything. You can see the percent of the gleaner, the this combine, um, the John Deere, it's running 14, 15 mile an hour. And I'm just going to do this real quick, and I, I won't hide that so you guys can see. But, we'll see some dumping on the go action here. Now this is all automatic. automatic. 
if the 4440 gets up here. Should be able to do it real quick. Oh, oh, is it going? Oh crap, we gotta move that over. Oh, it's going. Hold on, we gotta move this over though. Um, how do I, I forgot how to do this. There's two offset. We gotta check the wheels out. That's the wrong one. Unload horizontal. Or no. Wait, this should be all... Hold up here. I'll dump on the go the first time for ya. There we go. We'll get a little load in it. The other one's 29. That ain't terrible. Both going 6 mile an hour. I gotta figure out that offset. Drive course. Is it seriously gonna... Okay, whatever. Yep, it's gonna run into that. Imagine that. Um, we'll go to the... We'll just bump these over. I'll drive course now. Forgot I had to set this up. Oh my, he's gonna run over that. Let's... This guy. This guy takes forever. Let's see if it works now. It's gonna... Combine search. What's it at? Oh, it's gonna hit that, ain't it? Okay. Let's go to this page so that we can nudge it over. Combine's list. missing a little bit. That's alright. Can miss some. Come on, get up there. Move it over a little more. Why ain't that budging it? Supposed to move it over, it's not. Unless they updated it, you can't nudge it anymore. Hmm. They have updated it a lot. It is a lot easier to do this now. Oh, here it is. It's right here. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's reset this real quick. Alright, I'm going to reset this and go to the other one. Oh, that'd be a lot easier. I can just roll it like this. There we go. Instead of clicking 800,000 times. Yeah, I can't really make it so it doesn't run over the stuff. Um, I suppose I could. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. If you guys want to... Yes, I think there is a setting you can drive around the border. You can drive the perimeter. I don't know. Let's move it over. Let's see how it works on the combine, on this combine. If it works fine with this, we'll just try and nudge it over to where it just barely dumps with this one, and then it should work with the other one. We'll see. Man, this stuff's really loud. Alright, I saw the auger going out. There we go. Yeah, see, it works. And we can nudge it over a little. Nudge it over there. Now it'll probably quit dumping. Yeah. Come on. Come on. We'll set it to 8, 9. I don't know what it... Oh, wait. It's too far over now. Whoa, Betsy. Alright, stop. Start. At least it searched well. Now that I say that. Field 4. Okay, waiting until full. Turning circle, vertical. Sometimes it's hard to get it set up right. Let's go and request for driver. That's how you do it. Then he should drive up here. There he goes. We'll jump in. I think it was 9, 8 was too much. We'll try 9, 4. And then the vertical, we'll probably just leave it in the middle. There is a ditch up here. I don't know where it's at. Or I guess it's right there. I can see it. That line right there. We'll have it unload the other one next. It's pretty sweet though. I kind of like this tractor and the crane cart like this. Should have bought a third one for 
soybeans. That would have been cool. It's kind of hard to dump on the go on the edge, though. I mean, I can barely do that. The go one. I think that's perfect right where it's at. We'll put it to 8, 9. How's the vertical? The vertical's good till he turns. Alright. Let's go ahead and jump in. We won't request it. Well. Alright, so we're going to let this run. Actually, let's let him unload. Run on it. Wait, where's the percentages? Where is it at? Where is it at? 20%? No. Drive to waypoint. Maybe he's going to drive there. I don't know, but I'm canceling it. I'm going to remove combine assignment. We'll go ahead and have him drive this course. Come on, follow it. Alright, let's jump in the... This one, because this one requested it. We'll do send... Driver home. Oh, you can stop. Stop during unloading. Cool. So now it should, yep, it's taking the grain cart back. I don't know where this guy's going. Oh, he's going to go back that way, I see. So he should drive... Okay, I have no clue where he's going. Oh, I think he's going back to his last wait point. Oh, 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 don't go in the pond. Okay, maybe we'll just have to have him fill up. Alright, I guess he has to be full. So, we'll do request driver. I guess, yeah, we'll, that'll be good. We'll get it lined up. He's driving around out there. Um, yeah, so he's gonna hit the waypoint, and then he's gonna go get the John Deere. He should be able to get it. Automatic. We'll do John Deere. There. Still hasn't found it yet. Oh, I think he found it. Automatic field number four. Oh, he went across the hole. What the heck? Yes, yeah, so this video I got distracted a lot with course play. Maybe he's finally going to go unload now. Oh, no, he's over there. Maybe he'll unload. We'll see. I think he is going to unload now. Yep, he's going to unload. Good. That's what I wanted him to do in the first place. So he should be able to just pull up there and unload. I might have to tweak the truck. Oh, no. All right, and then he just automatically unloads. Then he'll go unload the combines. And he does it all. So that's probably a long enough video. It might be a little short. It'll be a little short. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe. Go check out my channel, The End Card. And subscribe to Squad Farms. Hit that notification bell. And we'll see you all later.